Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at setting up the Archer uh, TX20E, which is a TP-Link wireless adapter with Wi-Fi 6 capability, as well as Bluetooth capability. But before we proceed any further into the video, I would like to thank my channel members. These people help support me for, for as little as £3 a month, and they also get access to early videos like this one right here. And they are Alex Exists and Mislav. So... Let's get into the video. Now, what we have here is the adapter that's currently sat on my computer. It is a pretty good adapter. It comes with uh, Bluetooth as well as wireless, uh, uh, wireless 6, which is not so I'm used to from living in both America and the UK. Wi-Fi 6 was not that wide spread. It wasn't widely rolled, widely rolled out, whereas it is here in Australia. As we can see here, it is... Australia English as well as .com, uh, .com slash au. But the problem with this is this was released nearly a year ago. Like these drivers were released for nearly a year ago for the 5.8 kernel maximum. Now, most users that I know nowadays have, if they've got a reasonably updated uh, Linux system, they're running a bit more of an updated kernel like that one there. Like I'm, I'm running a decently updated kernel. Uh, this is most as I can get it updated with uh, Debian 12 at the minute because I'm not on te Debian testing. I've taken the uh, safe route for software. So we've got kernel 6.1, but that's not supported by this. So what we need to do is we need to go, I don't want you, I want open source instead. And I found out about the open source drivers from Reddit of all places, from particular the TP-Link subreddit, which is... Rather funny, considering that TP-Link can't, can't be bothered to make an updated kernel <coughs> nearly two years ago, nearly a year ago now. So, what we're going to do is actually going to go through the process of setting this up using this GitHub. It is the RTW89. And what this will do is it will give support for the driver, as we can see here. This also has 6 gigahertz functionality on it as well, which is not... a uh, something that you get from motherboards or some wireless adapters but in my in this case we can and this does include some installation instructions which i will link in the distro in, in, the, in the distro in the description there we go so first things first is we want to just clear our screen we're in desktop and we want to clone uh, the repository now because i have uh git cli installed what i could just do is do uh git clone uh, https or uh git at github dot com on lw finger slash r r t w eight nine dot git as we can see it already exists which in this case it does it is just here we can ignore the R RTL8852 AU. That was for something else. I was testing to try and get this to work, which, believe it or not, doesn't work. So, first things first, now that we've got our repository downloaded, what we need to do is we need to make sure we have one of a few things installed. We need to make sure we have make installed, GCC, kernel headers, kernel build essentials, and Git. Now, I know that I have that installed because I've done this before i've messed around i do some stuff behind the scenes uh for testing and for fun but you might not so what i'm going to do is actually show you the install process so first things first we need to run an update just as a argument grab everything down that we need to get down as you can see there's only four packages that need upgrading that's fine now that we've done that we need to do sudo apt get install uh, make gcc uh, linux headers headers uh, hyphen there we go brain catcher thank you uh, dollar sign bracket you name hyphen r and that's going to say hey get the kernel uh, kernel version and get me the headers for that yes e n t i l uh, build essentials and git now it's got not, for me, that's not going to do anything at all. It's just going to say, hey, look, here's a load of packages that you can remove. It's like, I'm just going to leave them there because 
if I remove one, then there's going to be issues down the line. I know it's happened to me before. But as we can see here, Make is already installed. GCC is already installed. Head is already installed. Build Essentials is already installed. And Git is already installed. Now, you might not have these. And if you don't, it will then grab them for you. But in my case, I've already got them, so we don't need to worry. Now, we need to CD into RCL, uh, RTW89. And for this, it is easy. It, it, it is as easy as just doing time make minus JSO. And there we go. Now, what this is doing is it's going through and making everything and preparing it. So if we, if we do sudo uh, uh, make minus JSO, again, if for you, it might go through and build uh, the pro go through and build it again. Because I've had to uh, restart this video again because I had the wrong resolution because I didn't check my settings beforehand. Uh, it's just going, oh, it's already done. It's already been made. But every time you need to, every time you update the kernel, you need to redo this anyway. So I'm just walking you through the process. Now that we've done that, we just do sudo make install. And that'll then install the headers into the correct place. As we can see here, it is a success. And what we can do is, what we should be able to do, and I mean, good. Uh, we should now have Bluetooth Manager. So we can now actually have a look at our Bluetooth now. I'm still having issues, and that's more than likely due to configuration issues that I've got. But now that we've done this, we, need sh we should now reboot the system, which is what we're going to do. So I will return once I've rebooted the system. Okay, so now that we have rebooted the system, as you can see, I have just booted up because OBS is here on my primary screen, so we're just going to move it over here. And what we should now have is if we come to network connections, we have our wired as well as Ethernet, well as, a, well, as well as our bridge, we've got to choose, we've got a choice. So in this case, we're just going to go Wi-Fi, and then we should, it should appear here. Now, because of a issue with the driver not being supported. Oh, we don't actually, we're not actually able to use the wireless capabilities, thank you drivers, for not being supported. However, that doesn't mean we can't use our Bluetooth capabilities now. I say, we should now be able to use our Bluetooth capabilities now because we do actually have everything in setup installed. But in this case, uh, for some reason, it doesn't want to work. So, unfortunately, we do very much love TP Link for actually giving us a workable system. That's not what I meant. I was looking for system, wasn't I? Oh, yay. Why the hell have you opened over there? There we go. So. Just give me processes. So as we can see, uh, Bluetooth is... Uh, I, d I don't know. It's, it's trying. It's really trying something, but... Uh, yeah, nothing. Yes, and the process. Yes, and the Bloom and Apple. Yes. Bluetooth, please. Yeah, so... Because of issues with... Yeah, issues with the Bluetooth driver, thank you very much, a TP link, we're not getting anywhere. So, whilst it is possible to make the drivers and install it, no, it's not actually possible to run it, because TP link can't make drivers, even for Linux ones, and even the open source drivers don't always work, which, again, is, is fine, it's rather hit and miss. As, <laughs> unfortunately, we're having issues getting your but yeah, story of my life. But anyway, that is going to be the end of the video. Um... Yes, it is possible. No, it's not possible. To them both. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you just liked it, hit the dislike button. They both seem to work. Uh, I have been Nick. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.